Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host, David Tear, where I profile different rock and roll artists every day. Today is the uh, birthday of uh, uh, David Lee Roth of Van Halen. He was born today, October 10th, 1951. And uh, like I said, he was uh, one of the original members and the lead singer of this band, a uh, very popular heavy metal band in the late 70s and 80s called Van Halen. And uh, they had uh, several popular albums. The first one was just called Van Halen. This came out in 1978. Uh, I, I uh, bought this album. I really enjoyed it when I had it. Uh, it had several kind of fun heavy metal songs on it. Uh, uh, first song, I think, was Running With The Devil. And then their first hit was uh, uh, a medley of Your Eruption, which was a, a really good v guitar solo by Eddie Van Halen, the lead guitarist. And that was followed by a remake of You Really Got Me, uh, which was originally hit by The Kinks in 64 and then it was remade by van halen in 78 and uh sung lead by david lee roth um there were some other good songs on this album there was in talking about love and there was janie's crying uh, jamie's crying so i thought that was a really good album and then the following year they had a follow-up album called van halen 2 this had a few other hits on it it had uh dance the night away and um it also had a remake of uh you're no good which was a song from the early 60s originally several people recorded the biggest uh the biggest uh, hit version was by linda ronstadt in 1975 and uh van halen also had a, a hit with this uh and then um uh in 1982 they had an album called diver down and this one had uh the hits uh it had a remake of pretty woman originally recorded by roy orbison and also Dancing in the Street, originally recorded by uh, Martha and Vandellas and recorded by several artists, other artists as well. And uh, their biggest album was, uh, this one was called uh, 1984, and it came out in the year 1984. And this had their biggest hit, Jump, which uh, was a number one, their only number one, I believe. And uh, also had a couple other hits. It had Panama and I'll Wait and also a minor hit called Hot for Teacher. Um, this was a good album as well. But then the following year, uh, um, I guess David Lee Roth, uh, I don't know if he was fired, but he he, he left uh, Van Halen. He was replaced by by this guy, Sammy Hagar, another really good singer. Actually, I liked uh, Van Halen a little bit better when they had Sammy Hagar. He wasn't quite as obnoxious as David Lee Roth. Uh, and I think he had a better voice. And uh, anyway, um, you know... I like David Lee Roth too, but he had a pretty huge ego, and uh, you know he went on and did some solo uh, hits after after he left Van Halen. Uh, in '85, he had a, a remake of California Girls, originally hit for the Beach Boys, and also uh, um, um, a remake of a, a medley from the '50s, uh, Just a Gigolo, and I Ain't Got Nobody. Um, I don't know who did the original versions of those songs, but. Uh, those were hits in the early 50s. And his uh, his other big hit in 87 was Just Like Paradise. Uh, and uh, those were those were his big hits. And, uh, you know, I think he was a really good singer, although he had kind of an obnoxious personality. He had a big, huge ego, but he was a very good singer. And I did enjoy Van Halen. I liked him with Van Halen. So that's my profile on David Lee Roth. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.